So, you have seen many awesome presentations here today, and all of them will be available for you. We have filmed every presentation also, so all the films and presentations and photos and stuff will be available for you. The films will be on YouTube, on the Agile People channel. And you will also get a follow-up email from us uh, stating exactly where you can find what after this conference. So we are at the wrap-up. A day goes so fast, doesn't it? It's amazing. I'm going to hand over to my colleague, moderator, to do the Mentimeter. Try that again. You're already familiar with our little feedback friend Mentimeter. And I would love for the wrap up to not just get our opinion about the day, but to get an opinion from all of you on what you learned, what you will take away, uh, what was inspiring for you, because that was one of the needs that we tried to cater in many sessions today. So I would like to ask you to sign up to menti.com and use the code again, it's a different code. So yes, you need to sign up again and put in the code and please press the little heart sign to sign up and then we can get started. Since we're all about inspect and adapt, I know we need to leave on the slide a little longer than we did in the morning. <laughs> kind of looks like we're getting ready to move on. Any objections? So, the first question to you in the audience would be, what's the most important message that you will take from this day? So it's about trust in people, interactions, taking care of people, Going wild. We have a need to do it together. A lot about feedback. Start doing. I like that one. Getting real. Agile is hard, yes. And a lot about humans. Thank you. <laughs> and it's a lot about small steps as well. So what are your key takeaways from all the sessions that you visited, all the interactions you had so far? It's also about people, it's about experiments and learning from failures. There is no cookbook, yes. About visualization, about direct feedback, also small steps here that we are human beings and that we really need to trust people. If we're looking at the world cloud and how to summarize the whole conference in one word, that's not a big surprise, it's a lot about people. And one very important thing also for us as like the conference team is that you not just get inspired today by what you hear, but you take something with you and change the ways of working within your organization. So we ask you to name one concrete action you will take after today. And I already see a lot of great ideas on Kanban boards, communication, love, I like that one, self-management booms, networks, Caring less about Agile and more about people. Rethinking our compensation models. Quitting. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> mm -hmm. 
<laughs> lot on starting small, trust again. Keep calm, sleep well, very important. And drink some Agile Ale, yeah, we'll come to that in a second. Thank you very much for your feedback so far. Yeah, and we will actually collect all your answers and uh, you'll be able to download the results from Mentimeter, so we'll share that in the email Pia just been talking about as well. Okay, so... Uh, we are also trying to collect a lot of stories. Maybe some of you have seen that. It's uh, Sonja Blingnaut and uh, Mikael Göte who is doing that. And uh, everybody who submits a story will be able to download a free book, Agile People book. And uh, I would like Sonja to come up and uh, help me to describe why are you doing this. And uh, give me a microphone. <laughs> Oh, take this one. Why are you doing this? Thanks, Sorry. Premier. Yeah. Well, you guys heard Dave Snowden speak this morning that we can mobilize people to change narratives, not necessarily work towards a goal. And we really want to be able to create a landscape very similar to the ones that he showed this morning to help us understand what does the agile HR landscape look like today, in 2018, um, preferably all around the world, but um, so far we've only managed to gather 55 stories, which is a bit depressing. Uh, so, so we really want to, um, to ask you guys to, to help us. What we would love to be able to do is to publish a report and potentially maybe even do it annually um, around what is the state of our gel HR, what are the stories that's coming out of our organizations. So we're not only asking for HR people to share their stories, we're actually asking for anyone in an organization that is impacted by HR, whether or not they're agile or not, to share the impact that that is having on them. So if we can ask you guys to please tell your own stories into your own experiences, but then when you go back to your organizations, maybe if you can commit to... Um, gathering three or four in those organizations as well, then we can go from 55 to hopefully around seven or 800. So we would love if you guys would help us with that. Thank you. Thank you, Sonia. Great, fantastic. Now, over to our competition. Very exciting. Jesper, would you come up on stage and share the results? Yes, yes. So, I guess it's the thing that everybody's been uh, waiting for this entire conf conference. So, finally, we get the results here. So, we're going to give away two books for Twitter and one from Instagram. And the first winner in the Twitter competition is uh, Shane Hasty, actually. Well, Shane! <laughs> Big applause. A lot of tweets, actually. Thank you. <laughs> uh, well, when we were counting, it was above uh, above 60, and then we had to stop counting because he just kept posting. So. <laughs> uh, so, winner number two, also for Twitter, but for a lot of engagement here, is Petra. Lies Mons. Lies Mons. Oh. Thank you. And both of these two persons actually already had a book, but ah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you can fight them, uh, fight uh, them for the books afterwards. Good. And lastly, for Twitter now. Hopefully, this person doesn't have a book then. Uh, Instagram. Yes, Instagram. Katarina Frankander. Is here? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> 
Great. Thank you, Jesper. Thank you. That was great. Now, we have tomorrow another day, because this is not the end. So we have deepening workshops, and we have four different workshops to choose from. Some of them are already fully booked, and I think actually that all of them are fully booked, except for the Agile Cooking Workshop. Is that correct, team? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Anyway, uh, there is still chance to uh, put your name up there on the other side of these glass windows uh, on one of the workshops for tomorrow. Even if you didn't plan on going to one, maybe now you feel inspired to do that. So there is still a chance to, uh, to come tomorrow, even if you didn't plan to do that. So we will meet here, 9 o'clock, and uh, we will continue until 4 o'clock tomorrow afternoon with a break for a common lunch uh, and common also fika pauses so that you can mingle with all the other people from the other workshops as well. No, we go straight to the respective rooms, so there is no collective uh, thing before we start the workshops tomorrow. Go straight to your room at 9 o'clock. Yes? We have some room there, so oh. double check where you will go tomorrow. Yes? Okay. Double check where you will go tomorrow. There will be signs on the wall, I guess, uh, of where to go tomorrow. This place is so huge. So in sp I have been here many times, but I still walk away and don't know where, I'm, where I am. I, I'm lost here. It's a terribly confusing place. It's very beautiful and nice. <laughs> <laughs> but this is not the end, you know, because we do have a date set for next year already. Woohoo! Yeah! <laughs> it's just one year away, so you don't have to wait long. <laughs> it's on the 21st to the 24th of October next year. We will do pre conference workshops as well, and we will do a main conference day and also deepening workshops next year, like we did this year. If you want to speak, or if you have some uh, suggestions of who you want to hear speak. Please come to us with those suggestions. Send us an email or uh, contact us in any other way. And we will take that into account. Or if you have a pre-conference workshop that you would like to run, or if you know somebody who has a great workshop that you would like to attend, let us know that as well. Because we are here to please you, right? Agile People also actually has a meetup group, and now we started a meetup group umbrella, so that we have now how many meetup groups? I think it's five or six already that we have. We have two in Germany, one in San Francisco, two in Sweden, and one in Thailand. Wow. <laughs> So we have many meetup groups. If you want to start a meetup group in your city, we will sponsor with a yearly fee, and you will, we will support you with uh, speakers, network, and stuff like that. So it will be easy for you. We will make it easy for you to come together and discuss these important topics. We can also contribute with webinars and uh, speeches via Zoom and so on. We have a lot of... Uh, talented uh, people in our network. Uh, and uh, go and, and uh, for the Agile People Group here in Stockholm, I think we have 1,300 um, participants now, or members. Uh, and we regularly meet and discuss these important topics. It doesn't cost a thing, it's all free, and uh, we do it because we love to dis discuss and uh, to talk about uh, these important topics. Agilepeople.se, there you will find the schedule. Thank you very much. I think there is something missing now. What could that be? Hmm. Oh, yeah, the Agile Ale. Of course. Uh, so, we will have a beer over here in the bar. If you prefer uh, without alcohol, that's fine. If you want beer or whiskey or something else, unfortunately, you have to pay yourself. But the Agile Ale is for free. Uh, drink one or two beers with us before you go home today. 
And there is also, without alcohol, alternatives, of course, uh, like soft drinks and stuff like that. So with that, I would like to thank you, the conference team. Thank you very much. And for those of you who I see tomorrow, I see you tomorrow. For those of you who I don't see tomorrow, I hope to see you around or we meet next year. Yeah? Okay, thank you everybody.